Hi Aries, so I'm going to do a love read for you. I hope you guys are doing great. So today is the 25th. We have really high Schumann resonance today. We have spikes of the magnetics. Sometimes this makes people feel very tired. Um, so it affects people in different ways. Um, it's very low though. I mean, it is high, but it's low. It's like a magnet on the fridge. So it's low, but it's there. So it's not like a massive magnet. It's like the strength of a fridge magnet, very low, but it's kind of lingering in the magnetic sphere, magnetosphere. And um, coming in in like blasts. So let's see what we have here for Aries for love. What does Aries need to see for love? Aries. Wow, Eight of Swords. So this is what came out in my daily today. Um, there's a King of Air and a Page of Cups. There's a harshness around this energy. There's, you know, somebody is causing you to feel this stress, mental stress. There's a king of air, somebody very harsh with their words. There's a sweet energy of a page of cups coming in though, a water sign or somebody just very sweet and fun and friendly. Past energy for Aries in love. A two of coin. Trying to find balance in a situation. Trying to maintain balance. Just trying to keep everything going. Okay, so we have a seven of cups. We have options that have to do with love and feelings. So we have seven options. Or we have you know, um, confusion. We have a complex decision as well. Sevens are about leveling up. You're trying to get to the next level. So you're not going to stay in the seven of cups forever, but when you are in this sort of indecisive stage, um, you know, then you're up in your head a lot because you're trying to think, figure something out. There's a complex choice. There is a page, so you're getting a message. There's this Knight of Pentacles coming into your future energy again. It's what I had in the daily. The Four of Coin is you. Trying to save or just trying to hang on to what you have. Six of Air, again. This is either blocking, avoiding communication, Smooth sailing. Somebody could also be blocking you. Or not talking to you. Just sort of avoiding. Um, we have the stars. What you're hoping for. You're hoping to put something behind you. So that you can have a hopeful future. It could also mean that there's something you've been wishing and hoping for and it hasn't arrived yet. And so you're just kind of waiting. Five of rods. There's a very competitive situation. What is five of rods? What is the moon? Wow, and with the nine of swords, there's a lot of uncertainty around the situation, perhaps with a person you're in a relationship with. And thinking about a lot of stressful things, and the moon here is uncertainty, things are hidden, 
The moon um, represents the energy of Pisces or Cancer, emotions, water energy, receptive energy, but it's also about things that are hidden in the dark. Um, it's when it's hidden, it will come to light. Um, it's just like there's something here. You could be afraid of what's not known to you. Um, it's almost like you have a lot of stress in your life. Two of Cups is here though, a companion, a friend. The fact that it's a Two of Cups is really good because Two of Cups means the person does care about you. They do they do love you. It's almost like you're just going through a fear like a fearful uncertainty. So now we're getting the Hierophant. The energy of institutions, religion, structure can be somebody who's very benevolent around you. The Hierophant's religious. They want you to follow a structure. It is the energy of marriage. The lovers is here. So there's something about love, but there's also fear. Then we get a nine of rods feeling like you almost want to just give up on something. What is the Seven of Cups here? It's a complex choice. It's not easy at all. That's probably why you're all up in your head about it. Hanging man, feeling stuck. Feeling stuck. Three of Cups is here. Feeling like maybe... Mm, maybe there's another option in love for you at this time. What is the Six of Swords? Okay, Six of Swords of Six of Pentacles. Air, earth energy that comes into balance. Something here around you is coming into balance. What is the Page of Cups? The Fool. So we have liberation and freedom, a fresh start and a new beginning. We get the Nine of Cups, a wish comes true, very content, emotions. Six of Cups, friendship, harmony, balance. This is after the Five. So you're in a Five of Cups, which is you're bummed out. Something didn't go the way you'd hoped. Someone comes along, the page delivers the ace. So the page brings you in something to balance you out, to get you out of that negative state of mind and emotions. So you receive from someone some hope. I feel like someone gives you hope. Um, why is there Knight of Pentacles right here? What is Knight of Pentacles? Slow moving, loyal, solid offer, earth energy, five of pentacles. Once again, it's like you're feeling left out in the cold. Somebody comes in to help you. There's some kind of a conflict that is really getting to you a lot. Someone comes into balance. The emperor, power, authority. Could be dealing with a father figure or a supervisor. Okay, your energy is four of pentacles, meaning you're wanting to hold on, hold back, queen of air, you're, you're being, you're guarding yourself, you're protecting yourself, you're very smart, so you know, you could feel like, you're not quick to trust. Okay, so the page delivers an Ace of Cups, which brings in the Fool, the Nine of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Something turns around. It all turns around. What is the outcome here? What is the outcome here? What is the outcome? For Aries in love? Outcome energy, Aries in love.
The Magician and the Six of Rods. You're going to manifest your success. Um, you know here that you can make anything happen. And you will get yourself out of this state of feeling lost and confused. So you're going to make a smart choice, maybe even to cut somebody out with the Six of Swords, saying, you know what, Five of Swords on the bottom, the conflict, the person who brings in the division in the conflict. And sometimes that energy can be someone who's like revenge because they take the three swords back. He's holding three swords. He already made the decision, which is the two. He's taken the three swords back and he it's kind of like a revenge. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I think. And it's like, I don't care, you know, with the Emperor. Um, your energy is very peaceful. But it's almost like Somebody's getting to you. And it's weighing on your it's weighing on you very heavily. Somebody's getting to the Aries. Um they're getting to you in a way where they got in your head. Okay, so the energy of all tied up is coming in. There's something here where you feel like I can't leave, I can't escape, I can't do anything but financial constraints. Angel of Balance is coming in. So be aware that it's probably a messenger. Someone's going to bring you some really good news. Um, what is the outcome here for this? The Garden and the Gate. And needing rest and rejuvenation. Okay. So I get let yourself receive and then make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. Playtime. Some of you need to just cut loose and have fun. <laughs> it's like you're thinking too much and doing too much and worrying too much. I think there's too much worry. I mean, at some point you're going to have to give it over to the universe and say, you know what, whatever happens, happens. So I'm just going to pray and hope for the best. Um... So I will leave it here for you, Aries. This looks really good. Um, there's going to be some kind of offer that comes in that really makes you feel happy. So thank you for watching and take care.